This guy in New Zealand has the craziest name ever. This is unfortunate. Guaranteed to not change your life. This is the Unimportant Podcast. Welcome to the Unimportant Podcast. My name's Anthony. That is Joe Bob. What? It, it's, it's interesting, given my name, to be talking about somebody else yeah, with you, a ridiculous name. You have name. absolutely no right... No to, right to make fun of anyone. <laughs> like literally, just I don't think we've gone over this. One one grandparent was Joe, the other one was Bob, and my parents decided to make junior high miserable for me uh, <laughs> by combining the names uh, and having. I still I've known Joe Bob for literally decades now, and I still believe this whole story is made up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I do one, one grandparent was Joe, the other one was Bob. There was an argument, and the compromise was <laughs> was <laughs> Joe Bob <laughs> was miserable junior high. <laughs> yeah, it was it was high school. High school picking on, uh, but you know, it is what it is, and that's so. Yeah, I, I'm. I now get to not necessarily make fun of, but I feel like you're part of a club. Oh yeah, me and this guy. This guy is a hundred percent in our club now. He's got. He's all. He's all in. Um, so this 22 year old from New Zealand decided. Well, not decided to. Does what a lot of 22 year olds do: getting drunk and makes a bet. Because mm-hmm. that's just something that people of that age. I tell you right now, this this former twenty two year old never did anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I, I can attest to a couple that I don't think you'd want me to mention on yeah. air. Yeah, on let's keep going. So this twenty two year old gets into a a bet. I, they won't tell me what the bet was, but they get into a bet that hey, if I lose this bet, I'm going to change my name. He loses the bet, ends up changing his name. Of course. Now that. You, Everybody's lost bets they don't intend to follow up with, right? Yeah. The next day, this guy <laughs> says, I'm going to I'm gonna honor this bet. So he submits all of the paperwork to change his name, right? His friends are like, what? Well, so, so he submits the paperwork, doesn't think about it again for several years, right? Because, because you, you kind of like- You just forgot yeah, about it. Yeah, you kind of just forget about it, and it's kind of like- How long does a name, t- name change take? Give me a second. Okay. The, the, he, he forgets about it just for, you know, because that's, you, you wouldn't think twice about it because it, why it's would just, you? why would yeah. you? Because it's, it's not affecting your everyday life. Five years later, his passport expires and he finds out when trying to renew it, that his, the name that he's been going by <laughs> that his parents gave him is no longer his name. He finds out he doesn't exist. No, no, he, he exists, but he exists under a very different name. The only, the, the only name that they give him in this, you know, prior to his current name, which I'll read to you in a little bit, uh, is Mr. Frost Nova, which is his last name. So his last name is Frost Nova. Wait, hold on a second. This man changed his last name to something more ridiculous than then, Frost Nova. I, I think Frost Nova is kind of cool. Sounds like a sounds like a superhero. Sounds like a it's f- it sounds <laughs> it sounds like the name somebody would make up when they lost a bet to change their name. <laughs> he he found out that his name was actually accepted by the new by, by New Zealand government and. Uh, he, he, Mr. Frost Nova was also required to change his name on his driver's license and all other official legal documents. Now, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Michael Mead, a spokesman for the Department of Internal Def- Affairs, Births, Deaths, and Marriage section, said that the name change when registered in March 2010, which again, mm-hmm. five years after he realized that mm-hmm. it was changed, five years before he realized <laughs> it was changed, um, was completed when he completed all all of the appropriate forms and paid the fees correctly. So this guy actually did like <laughs> put some effort into this because I don't know if you've ever been to the DMV, but in order to get anything changed, at least here in America, it is ridiculously it's... long and difficult. Um, <laughs> he did. This is going to give you a little bit of a clue. Um, the name that he changed it to was one character short of the DIA's hundred character limit. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's allowed to change his name back, but he will have to pay the $127 fee and fill the forms out correctly in That's order to hilarious. do so. You want to hear his name? 
be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's. Do we have time? This guy's <laughs> legal name is Full Metal Havoc, more sexy and intelligent than Spock and all of the other superheroes combined with Frost Nova. <laughs> I added an of in there. It's actually and all the others and and all the superheroes combined with Frost Nova. Uh, this Which, is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Ninety nine <laughs> characters, but the thing is, again, started as a joke. Didn't realize it happened, and now five years later, when he's a you know more mature adult who <laughs> has to deal with real life things, figures out that he has to get his driver's license changed uh, to this legally. <laughs> how would you fit that on a driver's license? They, I'm sure they have it laid out to where they would have to because the the legal limit is is a hundred characters, right? right? So you would need to format it in such a way that would fit a hundred characters, yeah. In case somebody did actually have a hundred character last name, people might. But yeah, so this guy, uh, Mister Full Metal Havoc, more sexy and intelligent than Spock, all and all other superheroes combined with Frost Nova, has to put that on his driver's license. And just picture this too. I don't know this for a fact, but imagine. If you had to tell your wife <laughs> that five years ago, me and Freddie made a drunken bet, and now our name is <laughs> Full Metal Havoc, more sexy and intelligent than Spock and all other superheroes combined with Frost Nova. And she now has to hyphenate. <laughs> this is not important. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the podcast. Hopefully you didn't learn anything important. We know we didn't. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you want more. <laughs>